great fan of Leo Flynn and Alan Gillis and Nick Laird and a lot of the, the sort of new generation of poets coming through. And I think playwriting from Northern Ireland, from the North of Ireland in particular, is really strong. You know, there's um, Declan Feenan and Lisa McGee, there's Rosemary Jenkinson, uh, Abby Spollen, Stella Feely. You know, there's a whole sort of swathe of, of really great new playwrights coming through. Yeah, I think he's my he's my first love, I think. <laughs> you know, and I, I never tire of seeing Chekhov. I saw recently um the uh Sovremenic production of Three Sisters. It came over here for two days from um Lund from Russia. And actually it isn't even the first time I've seen Chekhov produced in Russian. You know, I've seen a couple of productions of his um particularly Three Sisters, which is my favourite play. And um seeing Chekhov is often He's very funny, which a lot of people, a lot of bad productions of Chekhov make him very slow and ponderous. But in fact, you know, he's 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 really not even bittersweet. He's really funny, and and seeing him in Russian, you you get that feeling when you hear sort of Russian actors. It's it's a lot more um, a lot less measured perhaps than a than an English English translation. So I very much enjoy Chekhov. Um, Brian Friel as well is a is a big influence. Um, I absolutely love love Brian Friel, and um, a lot of the Irish playwrights. I think you know Beckett. You sort of can't help but be influenced by Beckett. Um, Marina Carr. I love um, the plays of Sing. I really love. Um, and yeah, I, I suppose I see a lot of theatre. Um, I love what a lot of uh, new new. There's a lot of new companies. I think in Ireland doing quite um, interesting work. I love. The work that the Druid is doing, um, and I love the sort of fringe companies, companies like Fishamble, and and I'm seeing a play. I'm going to press night on Monday of Moment by Deirdre Kinnan, which is being brought over to the the Bush. What you're working on can't help but be influenced by what else you're working on at the same sort of time. Um, my play, forthcoming play, Notes to Future Self, that I wrote sort of when I wasn't writing this. It's about a young girl who um, only has a few weeks to live and it's charting the last few weeks of her life. Mm -hmm. um, she and her sister have been raised hideous kinky style by a hippie mum, um, travelled all around the world and they've come back to um, their grandmother from whom they've been estranged all of their lives um, in order for the young girl to sort of have, have treatment. And, and so I think the mother is a hippie who believes in you know, reincarnation and spirituality and a lot of these things. The grandmother is very staunchly um, religious. Uh, the older sister is an atheist. And so a lot of the play is the younger sister trying to work out what she believes. And so I think, you know, all of the vast amounts of thinking that I was doing about Christianity and Islam and faith for this novel, um, I can sort of see the same preoccupations. Um, I don't know if it's evident from the outside, but it's sort of evident to me that I wrote these two things at a similar time, you know, they're, they're sort of cousins. Um, as regards places, I think the play was a strange one because it was a commission by Birmingham Rep, so they wanted it to be set in Birmingham. Um, so I researched, I set it in a particular area of Birmingham. But what's really funny now is that um, uh, myself and half the cast are Irish, <laughs> so we're all having to have voice coaching, you know, I'm having to change my dialect slightly to use Birmingham phrases and they're having to learn how to speak in a sort of faint Birmingham accent, so that's quite funny. <laughs>